Well, joining us for more on the Super Bowl ads is Christine Frichty. Uh, she's the president and CEO of Call McVoy. Christine was named one of Advertising Age's top women to watch in 2010. Christine, thanks for joining us. Uh, I presume My that, pleasure, Betty. I presume that you watched the Super Bowl ads last night. What blew you away? I did from beginning to end. I think what blew me away, and you guys were mentioning this a moment ago, was just the amount of auto advertising. A third of the commercials were for car companies. And I think one of the darlings that rose to the top, obviously, was the VW Darth Vader ad. I don't know if you saw that, Betty. But I did. I love that one. very charming. <laughs> Very charming. And you had everything from the Kia epic, epic spot trying to make you think that not only would the terrestrial beings love it, but um, a big year for the auto industry. Uh, is it going to, what do you think the auto industry was, was trying to get at? Is it going to raise brand awareness or, or, or what? I think brand awareness, obviously. I also think it's trying to regain consumer confidence. If you think of everything that's been going on in Detroit and, um, you know, what the Chrysler ad really was an anthem not only to Detroit but the, the industry. And I think this was a breakout year for social media. So not only were auto manufacturers advertising heavily on mass media and television, but the game started before the game when it came to commercials. Yes. Over half of the spots appeared early on in YouTube just to gain that buzz and to extend that 30-second media buy. Uh, which we all know isn't cheap. No, it isn't cheap. But did it uh, did it factor into any type of dilution effect, though, because they released them earlier? You know, I don't think so. If you think about it, the viewership, which is 100 million viewers, the Darth Vader ad, for example, garnered 12 million views ahead of time. So I think you started to create that swell and that interest and the, the delight and the surprise that extends far beyond the 30-second television buy. Right. Um, talking about social media, though, Christine, I mean, not only did companies use social media, but then you had the social media sites also advertising, in particular Groupon, which, uh, you know, raised some heckles. Yeah. Uh, some people didn't like the ad or the ad themselves. The um, tell me what kind of, you know, what does Groupon get out of advertising, uh, you know, at the Super Bowl, aside from the fact that now more people know about this company? Well, I think, again, it, it's creating that buzz and awareness. Both Social Living and Groupon took out spots on the Super Bowl. And I thought they took very abstract approaches to explaining that they're online couponing um, communities. And I think a lot of people are talking about them. Some of them are scratching their heads going, hmm, what exactly is the offering? But they definitely raised um, name recognition. But was it the target market for them? You know, I think, yes. Um, again, anytime you're trying to reach a large group of consumers and drive people online, and online couponing, again, is fairly new um, for many people that are out there. Christine, how do you measure after, I mean, you know, year after year with these Super Bowl ads, how do you measure whether sure. or not uh, this actually translates into dollars for these companies? Yeah, that's an interesting question because there was probably, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20 ad meter polls last night. And looking at them early this morning, they were all across the board. I think um, given the viewership of the Super Bowl, all the advertisers are winners. But what it's going to come down to is really seeing the sales. Does the auto industry turn around? What happens to the VW Beetle that's launching this fall? They had a big teaser campaign. Does that really start the groundswell ahead of time? Right. Um, so, again, I, I think a lot of it's going to be not only what were the ratings last night and the rankings, but what happens in social media over the next couple of weeks as well. Uh, and is there any point, Christine, where it doesn't become worth it for a company that has been advertising the Super Bowl to no longer advertise there? Is there a point where that gets reached? I don't think so. I mean, you had the Clydesdales come back. You had the career, um, you know, the monkeys come back for career builder. A lot of it almost becomes uh, a tradition and a delight to a lot of the consumers. If you take a year or two off and you come back, I think that might even ex accentuate the delight from the viewership. But if you have the dollars to invest, it's a great way to make a huge impact very quickly. Okay. Well, three million dollars certainly not cheap to try three to million make. Three million dollars? No, sure, certainly not to make that impact. Christine, thank you so much for joining us. Christine Fricke, President and CEO of Call McVoy.